Hi everyone, welcome to Freezer Burns. As always, I'm your host Greg, the frozen food master. You're joining me as I eat my way through the freezer aisle one box at a time. See, I gotta hop in my step. I gotta hop in my step because this is step five. This is the last part of Mac Cheese Fro Down Week at Freezer Burns. And the last review we got for you is this. It is a classic. Stouffer's Macaroni and Cheese, $2.59 a box. I'm ready to get this out of the box, see how it looks, see how it cooks. I'm gonna cook this baby in the microwave. I'm gonna get this into my belly. Freezer burn starts right now. Here we go. Once again, this is the Stouffer's Macaroni and Cheese, $2.59 a box. Let's take a look at this box. You see that? That's some rich, creamy mac and cheese. And just in case you were wondering, in the background we got another bowl of macaroni and cheese, probably because this is the large size. But it also could be, look, dude, Stouffer's is like, man, we got some awesome mac cheese, you're gonna wanna hook up a friend. You're not gonna share from the same plate, you're gonna hook someone up in the background, right? That's basically how I interpret it. Stouffer's, this is part of the Craveable Classics Collection. You know, when I heard, when I announced that I was doing a mac cheese fro down, it was split half and half. Uh, some people were like, dude, you gotta try Trader Joe's. And if you were here from the beginning, you know that I'm actually gonna do Trader Joe's later because I really want on this fro down to be only brands that everyone can get nationally. But the other half were like, man, you can't go wrong with Stouffer's. And I'm like, okay, I agree. Stouffer's I've had a lot of luck with. Not so much luck with it keeping my cholesterol down and my sodium take down, but a lot of luck when it comes to taste. I really like Stouffer's. That being said, if you recall on Wednesday's episode when I did the Lean Cuisine Mac Cheese, Lean Cuisine's made by Stouffer's, and I didn't really rate that one too high. I'm a little nervous. Stouffer's, mac cheese, let's see the nutritional facts. Serving size, one cup. Servings per container, about two and a half. Okay, so this is the large size. Amount per serving, 350 calories, 150 calories from fat, 17 grams total fat, seven grams saturated fat, 25 milligrams cholesterol, 920 milligrams of sodium, 34 grams total carbs, two grams dietary fiber, two grams sugar, 15 grams protein. How do we do in the microwave? This is a long one, guys. We're doing it in the microwave for 10 minutes. Cook, remove, oh, remove tray from box, remove film cover, cook on high for eight minutes, stir, continue cooking for two to three minutes, and then they give directions if you want two trays. Okay, then I gotta let stand one to two minutes using pot holders and both hands. Carefully remove tray from microwave and enjoy. They don't want you to spill one elbow. One elbow they don't want you to risk um, losing when you pull this hot pocket. Uh, it's not a hot pocket. This hot potato, nah, it's not a hot potato. You know what I'm talking about. This tray is gonna be hot. It's gonna be in there for 10 minutes. I don't want to burn my little girl hands, you know what I'm saying? So I am going to use a pot holder. Let's see how it looks. Looks pretty cloudy, guys. Black plastic, tons, tons of crystals in there. And look, we even got some condensation dripping down, okay? Big, solid mass of cheese and pasta. If this was kind of a different, maybe a warmer shade, kind of looked like a Rothko painting, Right, we got different shades coming down. There's a lot to cook. That's probably why I gotta put this baby in for 10 minutes. This is almost twice the depth of every other mac cheese I've reviewed this week. So, when we come back, it will be 10 minutes later. I will tell you how it looks, explain to you how it smells, and then I'm gonna get this into my belly. Mm. Welcome back. 
Phew. That was 10 long minutes that I had this Stouffer's macaroni and cheese in the microwave. I'm gonna show you how it looks. Now I'm holding it gingerly because as, as you recall, uh, I was supposed to use pot holders and that indeed I did. This thing was piping hot. It was steaming, it was bubbling all over the place. Um, it, it was definitely thoroughly cooked. I did stir it after eight minutes and put it in for an additional two minutes. I'm gonna show you how it looks. These are the fattest elbow macaroni and cheese, mac, macaroni, elbow macaronis I've ever seen. And by fat, I don't mean pH, I mean F. Uh, although after I taste it, who knows, it might be pH. Let's see how it smells. Definitely a really rich, creamy, cheddary sauce. Um, yeah, I mean that's basically all I smell is cheddar. Um, I want to show you, show you the consistency. This is really creamy, but not watery. It's not dripping down. It's really hanging on to those macaro elbow macaronis. I gotta get this in my belly, I gotta tell you how it tastes. It's kind of sharp, guys. Sharp as in sharp cheddar. Shop for all my Boston peeps. Wicked shop. It's def. Wow. Mmm. Okay. Consistency. Really, really good. You got flavor plus going on here. Every little bit of macaroni is coated with this nice, rich, creamy macaroni and cheese sauce. The sauce, however, is kind of a sharper. It's not, um, like don't expect craft macaroni and cheese from the box because that is like cheddar, but it's processed cheddar and it's strictly salt. This tastes like real cheese. Again, I know, ha ha ha, someone cut the cheese and put it in there, but this is a little sharper cheddar than some of the other ones I've tasted. In terms of overall quality, this is what you come to expect from comfort food. That being said, how does this compare to everything else? We're gonna get that, get to that in a moment. First, I'm gonna give you a rating for this. This is the Stouffer's Macaroni and Cheese, $2.59 a box. Consistency's good, the uh, cheese flavor is good, the tenderness of the macaroni pasta is good, the price is good. I give this a four star as well. So, this concludes my fifth review. When we come back, I'm gonna recap all the whole week's reviews. All five macaroni and cheeses. Cheeses? Macaroni, mac, cheeses, mac cheeses? You get what I'm saying. I'm gonna go back and recap all five and tell you who I think wins Macaroni and Cheese Week at Freezer Burns, the Mac Cheese Throwdown. Okay, so here we have it, folks. We got five macaroni and cheese dinners. Monday, we reviewed this. It's the Boston Market Macaroni and Cheese. Tuesday, the Weight Watchers Smart Ones Macaroni and Cheese. Wednesday, the Lean Cuisine Macaroni and Cheese. Thursday, the Amy's Macaroni and Cheese. And today, Friday, the Stouffer's Macaroni and Cheese. Now, I want to do a quick recap for you. The Boston Market one, it's not macaroni at all, guys. It's rotini. But if you can forgive that, like this got a very, very high rating. It's got a great three cheese blend sauce. Really, really good. Really big noodles that just fill your mouth. It's really, really interesting. A, a slight um, skew on kind of a down-home classic. Really good product here. If you look at the smart ones, if you're on a Weight Watchers diet, it's a decent enough mac cheese fix, right? It's gonna give you what you need. But if you're comparing it on taste alone to some of the others, it just falls a little short. Kind of an interesting clumpy texture to the macaroni. 
Lean Cuisine. I was really disappointed with this one. I thought it smelled awesome. It was again, one of the diet varieties of macaroni and cheese, but the big concern about this is very watery after you uh, took a bite out of it. Uh, just wasn't impressed with that at all. Amy's, kind of a weird mix, guys. Amy's is kind of a, just an interesting taste, something that feels a little more gourmet to me, to my palate, um, and it's certainly something that if accompanied with the right meal would be great, but in terms of down-home goodness, doesn't seem to fit what my interpretation is of comfort food. Finally, Stouffer's, tried and true. A lot of people are hot on Stouffer's. Nice, creamy consistency, big ass macaroni on there, the thickest out of the five. Um, really good consistency. Took a long time in the microwave, creamy, really sharp cheddar taste. Not, not really, I mean, it's not like, oh my God, I, I like it doesn't, you know, it's, it's not that this is an acquired taste, it's that comparing all of them, this one is definitely more sharp, not as salty as maybe some traditional macaroni and cheese flavors that you would expect. That being said, these two, I'm definitely, you know, if, if I'm going to just talk about diet macaroni and cheese, okay, I got to give the props to Weight Watchers. The Weight Watchers Smart Ones macaroni and cheese is better than the Lean Cuisine. So there, that's kind of a subsection. Overall in taste though, I think it really comes down to the Boston Market one, the Amy's one, and the Stouffer's. Now what you remember is they didn't all get the same uh, rating individually and a lot of that has to do with price, consistency, quantity, nutritional value, but when I'm comparing head to head here, I think from taste standpoint alone, I gotta go with Boston Market. I think the Boston Market taste is creamy, it's just a little different, but it feels like down home goodness and that's what I want out of macaroni and cheese. I'd be interested to see if that's what you want. Taste alone, I give it to this. Now, if you're saying, if you're crying foul and saying, you know what, this is macaroni, that's rotini, and oh my God, like how dare you? You give something that claims to be macaroni that isn't macaroni, the edge in the taste throw down, I'm gonna go throw you kind of a curveball, guys. I think that this, from taste alone, is the best. However, for the total package, all things considered, because I'm one of those guys, it kind of bugs me that this is rotini, not macaroni, because there's a lot of qualities, a lot of sur different surface textures, a lot of different crevices that can retain some of that cheese, that this has an advantage over everything. I gotta give the edge to these two for taste, uh, for, for overall consistency to this. And then finally we get down to it. This one I think is just way, just a, a, a hint, a little too gourmet for the average palate. Not to mention from sheer size, uh, you're paying more for less. So my overall winner, it's got to be Stouffer's Macaroni and Cheese. I'm declaring Stouffer's the winner of the Frozen Food Mac Cheese Throwdown. So to recap, Smart Ones Over Lean Cuisine, if you want to go diet, if you want to go taste alone and don't care about the rotini action, I would say that Boston Market is the best. But if you want to go overall package, right, it's like a... It's like we're, we're, we're playing rotisserie league fantasy baseball, guys. You could have the home run king on your team, but if your pitching sucks, you ain't going to win overall, right? Stouffer's is my overall winner. I declare Stouffer's the winner of the Mac Cheese Throwdown. As always, I'm your host, Greg, the Frozen Food Master. See, I even require two thumbs now. I'm the Frozen Food Master. This has been the epic week-long macaroni and cheese throwdown, and I'll see you next time.